good morning uh, today we will discuss a machine learning tool called as Veka so Veka is a machine learning tool which which is which was developed by a Wakaito University for data processing data mining and machine learning purpose so this word Veka is taken from the name of bird Veka only found in New Zealand the uh, island right today we'll see that how the Veka will be used in machine learning and uh, uh, data mining so Veka is this software this is this the software is basically open source software and currently I'm showing you the version of this Veka is 3.7.4 and this this is developed by the University of Wakaito Hamilton New Zealand right this tool is basically used for knowledge analysis purpose and uh, it offers the user around 100 plus algorithms for classification out of this algorithms 75 algorithms are dedica dedicatedly used for data processing whereas the 25 algorithms they assist the user in feature selection process whereas the remaining 20 algorithms they will be used for clustering and association mining purpose so this is a brief introduction about the Veka data mining tool right so this is the user interface on the screen of Veka which which offers the user the four different application for the different purpose right whereas uh, you can find at the right top corner the first application of Veka is the explorer the second is the experimenter third is the knowledge flow and fourth is the simple CLI today I'm going to discuss the first application of Veka that is explorer remember the objective of all these four applications are same but their user interface is different or their uh, you can see the GUI is different right we will begin with the Explorer application so to start the Explorer click on Explorer application and you can find a new window is open here the user can uh, perform a different operations right as I told you in the beginning that is the Veka is used for knowledge analysis purpose so that means we can process the different data's uh, data sets in Veka so by default the Veka has given some data sets so to <coughs> input this data set you can go to the data sets and here you can find there are different data set that Veka offers I'll select one data set that is iris well so after selecting this data you can see you can have a different uh, uh, features to process this data right so you can observe the some preliminary preliminary information about this data set on this Explorer application so this indicates that this is the relation of this data set is iris the number of features alternatively it is also called as attributes r5 the number of instances that is the number of examples used in this data set are 150 and these are some other information about the features so if you want to go for some standard deviation the mean of each feature then you can just click on this feature so you can find there are five features sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and a class these are the five attributes for this data set and this is the standard and a mean deviation for the sepal length feature so the minimum value for this feature is 4.3 the maximum value is 7.9 while the mean for this attribute is 5.84 and the standard deviation is 0.828 well <coughs> this is the information about this now uh, at the bottom of the screen uh, you can see on the right side of the screen is uh, this is the class and you can visualize all of this class in the 
new window so to visualize it just click on this visualize all button and the new window will appear where you can see uh, the instances of each uh, attributes or each attribute instances in detail right so this is the visualization of class so here uh, we have around <coughs> three class setosa then versicolor and verisai right so this uh, i'll just go back and i'll just click on class where you can see these are the three class values that is iris setosa iris versicolor and iris virginica okay i'll just click on visualization again okay so this blue indicates the class setosa the red indicates the class versicolor and this light blue it indicates the class virginica so this is how we can uh, uh, visualize the class values in detail so that means we have total th three class setosa versicolor and virginica and each of this class has the same number of instances that is 50 well <coughs> so this is the uh, some brief introduction about the preprocessing tab used in explorer application of weka the next tab or the next menu that is available in the weka explorer is the classification we'll just click on the classification tab and here you can see uh, it it it, it uh, gives us the different options the different features that is you can use this data set iris as a train data set you can supply a new test data set you can perform the cross validation you can split this data set into a test data set and a test data uh, train data set fine i'll use the entire data set as a train data set fine <coughs> and now i want to perform some classification on this data set so by default you can say when you open this classification tab the classifier it shows is 0r but <coughs> i want to use the tree classifier that is j48 right well and i'll just click left on this classifier just to show you the properties of this class <coughs> well i'll see uh, click on more so which gives me the information of this class so the name of this package or the name of this classifier class is vika dot classifier tree dot j48 so j48 is the name of this classifier if uh, we can find some more information about this class that is this class for generating a prune or unpruned c 4.5 decision tree and for more information you can see the ross finland program for machine learning and morgan kaufman publishes san mato for to know more about this j48 tree the options that are the, or the arguments that that are available with this class is the binary split so this this option is used whether to use binary split or a nominal attributes when building the tree so you can either specify the uh, whether user wants the binary splits or a nom normal nominal attributes then collapse tree confidence factor debug <coughs> minimum number of object <coughs> instances number of folds reduce error pruning save instance data use laplace use uh, md mdl correction so these are some other options that are available with this class <coughs> and you can see these are the values of this arguments collapse tree confidence factor so these are the by default values that comes in vika for each attribute i'll just click on okay so my job is over now we'll just uh, run the model now we can started building the model and it shows you the output of classifier <coughs> 
So statistics shows that the time taken to build this model is 0 0.05 seconds uh, and the evaluation is performed on the trained data set and this is the summary. The correctly classified instances for this classifier is 147 and thus we can say that the accuracy that we can obtain is 98 percent whereas the incorrectly classified instances are 3 and resulting into an error rate of 2 percent. These are the other kappa statistics like mean absolute error, root mean square error, relative absolute square, square error, uh, re, uh, root relative square error and so on. This is the coverage of class. This is the mean relative region size. And finally, this last value it shows the total number of instances that we have processed to this uh, uh, from this uh, classifier J48 tree. This is the detailed accuracy by the class. Uh, we know that when we uh, when we perform the uh, assessment of any or the evaluation of any classifier we can use this parameter like true positive rate false positive rate precision recall f measure uh, roc area and so on right so these are the values of each uh, class for true positive rate false positive rate and so on remember this true positive rate, false positive rate, rate, these are the parameters used in the confusion matrix, right? And the next part that we are going to discuss is the confusion matrix from this output window, which is very important from this uh, evaluation uh, perception. So this confusion matrix, so this confusion matrix, the column of this confusion matrix, it indicates the class where this horizontal entries it represents the correct classification and the misclassification of the corresponding class right so the first row and the first column entry 50 it indicates that the 50 instances which belongs to setosa class they have been correctly classified there is no misclassification in the setosa class when you go to the second row and second column entry, this 49 indicates that the 49 instances as this column is belong to versicolor. So this indicates that the 49 instances they have been correctly classified which belongs to versicolor class. But the next entry in the second row that is the second row third column entry indicates that the one instance is misclassified as a virginica class as this entry is belong to third column and third column is a virginica class so this instance is actually misclassified to virginica class but it actually belongs to versicolor and in the same way the third row second column this entry indicates that these two instances they have been misclassified into versicolor class they are actually belong to virginica class and the last entry that is third row third column entry 48 this indicates that the 48 instances belongs to virginica class they have been correctly classified so in all there are three instances which have been misclassified so two instances from versicolor and uh, sorry two instances from virginica and one instance from the versicolor class they have been misclassified so this is the way that we can perform the classification we can build the model and we can perform the classification we can import the data set for processing this is all about uh, the knowledge analysis in the explorer tab you can uh, use the other classifiers also there are base classifier there are uh, linear regression classifier there are nearest neighbor classifier there are metadata classifier for attributed attribute selection and so on so you can have around 75 classification algorithm for knowledge analysis purpose. So this is all about the Explorer tab. In the next video, we will see the next application of Beka that is experimenter. Thank you for now.